device is started by placing a quarter into this chute and it lands on a pressure on a weighted switch just the switch right here and it turns this light bulb on the light bulb generates electromagnetic radiation which is reflected by this reflector to this thermostat and you just heard that click and the thermostat uh, burns, well, runs current through steel wool that is placed between here and here. And you can do that real quick. It's probably still hot. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the steel wool burns gunpowder, but I didn't have the time to put gunpowder on there. And this can steel wool gunpowder unit is that, well, the can has a CAD cell in it, and the CAD cell is a photoresistor. Show me that CAD cell again. And the CAD cell will run that over there when light is allowed to reach the CAD cell. And this is a baking soda and vinegar pressure chamber. And it's divided with a divider in the middle. And so when placed upright, with baking soda, well, with vinegar in the rear and baking soda placed right here. And uh, placed this little track right here. And so when that's rotated, it mixes the baking soda and vinegar. And this cap is placed over it. This cap has a diaphragm. And the diaphragm is depressed and it switches a pressure switch and the pressure switch goes to the next one steel more time wool, on the pressure switch steel wool uh, gunpowder can unit and this unit in particular runs a relay you can hear that click and the relay runs the next can unit and this can here runs uh, this fan over here and directly through a relay and a transistor. And this motor runs a generator with a belt. And this generator uh, runs current through another transistor and the transistor bumps it up to this minute current up to 12 volts, and the 12 volts runs this bell. And that's the How train. Bell. Uh, the transistors are important in this project because it takes a low energy reaction, such as flash powder, and that being sensed by a photocell, uh, to a high energy reaction, like uh, the transistors are important in this project because it takes a low energy reaction such as flash powder and that being sensed by a photocell uh, to a high energy reaction like uh, a 12 volt battery running a motor or this motor or this light or this uh, bell right here sorry um, and so it's Essentially, it's like a very sensitive switch that senses a minute amount of energy and transfers it to 12 volts. And uh, transistors are in the photocell are run tripped with three volts from this power source here. And so there's three volts going through this CAD cell right here. Tip it up a little bit. Yeah, the, tip it. Tip it toward the camera. There we go. Perfect. It's CAD cell in here. And when no light is permitted to enter, then this transistor is in its off, unsaturated state. And when light is permitted, then the resistance of the CAD cell drops, and 3 volts is allowed to 
go through the emitter base junction on this transistor and then the transistor, the emitter collector uh, junction is opened and it goes into saturation and it's allowed to run the next step and these are power transistors they can handle 12 volts and are sensitive enough to use 3 volts in the emitter base junction Okay. This is a Rube. Okay. This is a Rube Goldberg device, and Rube Goldberg was a scientist and a uh, inventor who designed machines that did extremely complicated things to achieve an extremely simple task, such as ringing a bell. And this is exactly what this does. You drop a quarter in to start it, which we're not running it right now, and it runs through all these reactions using five known energy forms, uh, electrical, heat, chemical, electromagnetic spectrum, and mechanical, and those are the five available energy forms, and it transfers from one form to another, and leads to the ring of the bell. Now, uh, Alright, um, this was done for, uh, alright, um, this was done for uh, a thing called the Science Olympiad, and this event is the Mission Possible at Rube Goldberg uh, category, Rube Goldberg machine, and it's a nationwide thing, and I just took uh, state, uh, first place in state, for Montana, uh, for Capitol High School, and uh, the machine is scored according to uh, 